guys welcome back to the second episode of my Max Payne series I'm Lawrence from Loco Gaming and we'll start chapter 1 of part 1 The darkness inside Elevated doors for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out. Back to the job. The NYPD. It's mine. I'm on it. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective. But I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while. My brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. Backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. Jet 4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. Have you got Max Barretta gun? So, let's check. Let's check it out. Okay, the, these things won't open. Let's check the back. Oh, here. <laughs> Why didn't There's I see no that? no way to deal with the past. I kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. Yeah, I really need to pull it out to connect with you. NYPD. Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that uh, mess brains and I don't guns. really trust this guy. Detective. He did, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. After you, detective. Oh, detective, I've got something for you. The burps were masquerading as cleaners. Only roads are dual wheeled. Bad 
awful shoot damage. Okay, let's go upstairs. storage but it had been cleaned out I'm looking around for painters but I haven't really found anything yet let's go for it the answering machine had a message on it Chat, finish her. Wait, the mob guys attacked us. I have no beef with you guys. You took them out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We we can. NYPD, drop them. Finish her. Oh God, no! Like all the bad things in my life. It started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After him, die! Okay, she doesn't look really healthy anymore. Police buddies are on their way to help me, I guess. And some painters, always good. Shotgun and nothing. Okay, I guess I'll take the pump shotgun. Stop meeting like this. Mona. If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. And a lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. This is through here. <laughs> All right, I left us here. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. Just his feet. And that guy glitched away. Good.
to be careful. together on this you got sloppy pain you screwed up it's unacceptable that she's dead you could do better I played it as business as usual but everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith licensed dealer in firearms right the property owned by Vladimir Lem three groups one DOAs who had connections to Russian OC Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Pete. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gates. It's gonna be all over the news. The Senator. Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravara knew it, too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. Okay, this was episode two. Thanks for watching and see you next time.